So this video is going to be about sex, masturbation, lust. And the reason why I want to cover this topic because this is what's happening in the world today amongst our young people in the monster world. Because why? We got pornography. We got social media that blatantly just put these um, sexual content out there. You know, you have these avatars and these video games and it's all based upon of lust, right? So let's go to, let's just jump right into it. Let's go to Galatians, right? And we're going to go to 5, 16. And it says, So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of sinful natures. Sinful natures are things as in what the flesh does, what we do with the flesh. Now let's discover upon what sex is. This is why it's important, and I mentioned this in a video before, and somebody tried to debate me upon it, and I have got a lot of backlash about it behind how you're supposed to dress. And we are supposed to dress a certain way. Now, the Bible say, come as you are. That's true. But if you have the type of outfit to wear that is appropriate, then you wear it. So a woman shouldn't come to church with a mini skirt way up here and she has a, a, a dress that can come down here. A man, you know, shouldn't come in t-shirt and jeans if he have a suit. But come as you are to get the word of God. I believe that, you know, um, seeking the word of God, I think we must respect him in a way that we must um, attend to a way in respect and to look in our best for him. You know what I mean? Remember, he's a he's a king, right? Just like what do kings do, right? When they see their, um, when they see their king, you know, uh, uh, we all know the... The history behind that, right? You have to look a certain way, you know, to to be um, um, uh, in a way where, you know, you are serving your king. But let's jump right into uh, this. So therefore, y'all can get a proper understanding upon what I'm saying, um, as in the part of how women are supposed to dress modern because that leads to lust, right? Why? Because when a woman is dressing provocative and she's showing her stuff in cleavage and dress way up here and whatever case would be, that giving men the intent to look in a less in a lustful way. They're not looking in a way it's like, oh, she's pretty, whatever. They're looking at her body and her assets and stuff like that. And then their minds start to wonder. And then this is the reason why men like to be upon, uh, like to approach a woman because he wants to lay in bed with her because she has big boobs or she has a big old butt or, you know, his mind is going because of what she's wearing so in, in his mind he's already thinking a certain way about her just like a woman when she see a man wearing gray sweats and she see that his private parts is kind of long you know now all of a sudden she wants to sleep with him you know what I mean and and you know it don't have to be about he has a good heart or he's handsome that's sometimes they just look for as in that because they're lusting right because they're looking a certain uh at a person a certain way this is where the sexual part comes in right so if you go with me and Matthew um five four eight and it goes blessed are the pure in heart for they will see god blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the sons of god right so in order to be blessed is to be able to hold your composure that's why we have to be um we, this is why we have to be self-control. That's why self-control is a main factor of walking down this uh, path with Christ, right? Just like in James, right? We're going to go to 1, 14. But watch this. Each one is tempted when, watch this, by his own evil desire, he is dragged away and enticed. And sometimes we become enticed. And that's why masturbation, that's that's a sin. That's why you have to stay away from the type of thing because you watch pornography or you see a certain person and your mind gets wounded and you want to go in the shower and you know what, what happens from there. And those things are of sin because what the mind is thinking upon, right? And this is what lust plays a, a key factor because because of sexual immorality, because of the sexual intent that what they are looking at in that aspect, you know, and these are the things that we have to pretty much watch ourselves from and these are the things that are happening. That's why these kids today talk about oral. That's why these kids today are doing unspeakable things at an early age, at the age of 10 years old, at the age of, uh, of 14, 15, and, it's, and, and these things are just 
blankly put out there on video games, on VR. It's everywhere. You can't escape it, right? Because that's what the devil does. He put this out, right? Because it's an it's an pleasurement to people because they wanna they wanna pleasure themselves. They get a certain feel from it. You know what I mean? And this is why it is so much of of of, of this. It's actually a sin that is hard to be able to conquer, right? Because it's so much around you, you know what I mean? Especially when you being single or you just, you know, uh, alcohol, being intoxicated plays a big part. Smoking weed plays a big part. Doing drugs, it plays a big part and it ties into these things because your mind gets the roaming. That's why you have to be able to have self-control because when you see these certain types of people, you have to be able to control yourself. Just because a woman got a big old butt, that only you have to look. And when you look and you have an, uh, 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 a sexual thought because you may see the, um, the the panty line of her wearing a thong or you might see a gentleman, you might look at him and say, oh, you know, he's handsome or, you know, I think he probably, you know, your mind get the going because it's not getting the going as Oh, you know, I think he can take me to church. I think we can praise together. I think we can have fun together. It's about, oh, I, you know, uh, we can uh, get tonked up. We can have a drink or we can smoke some uh, marijuana. And, you know, he may be good in the bed and do me all kind of, all kind of ways. That's why, you know, um, people have orgy. That's why LGBTQ to me is ain't nothing but a sexual Cult. And what I mean by that, because it's all about being sexual. Look what they wear. Look what they into, you know, just like the um, girls that are lesbians, you know. But yet, what is so confusing to them is, and, and what they don't realize and see that, yet, you don't like a man, but you want to play with a, a fake penis. If that's the case, just get your real man. You see what I'm saying? A man want to sleep with another man to do what? Put his mouth around his penis or to do what? To put uh, his thing in a man's butt. And it's not it, and it's not biblical. It, 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 it is it is it is nasty and it's degrading and it's and it, and, and it is um, and it's disrespectful. Because the bacteria comes from there. But see, it's all about a sexual. It's it's it becomes sexual. Look what they wear. Look what they dress. Why men want to dress up like a woman? Because they feel sexy because it draws in. Men because, oh, um, you got a mini skirt and big butt and you turn around, got a mustache. And like, but some men, they'll just still do it. Because why? Because now they're aroused, you know? But see, hallelujah. See, see, in today's society, everything is about sex. Everything. That's why prostitution is still legal in certain places. That's why they don't crack down on these certain type of things. That's why you, your your uh, government, um, your senators, your politicians, they go and they get escorts. That's why, you know, we have a big epidemic with um, sex trafficking because of these factors. Because of lust play a key role. So we have to be careful about what we do. So take heed and remember, be self-controlled. Love you guys.